I'm Robert Priest Thompson and this is the Home Scientist video series. With this segment, we'll begin a continuing series on basic laboratory techniques. Quantitative lab techniques depend on measuring masses and volumes accurately. For many lab procedures, if you can determine one of those values, you also know the other. For example, you can use a balance to calibrate a disposable pipette. The density of water is known very accurately, so determining the mass of, for example, 100 drops delivered by the pipette allows you to calculate a very accurate value for the volume of each drop. You can then use that pipette to do accurate titrations. Every home lab should have a balance. An ideal balance for a home lab is accurate to at least 0.01 grams or 1 centigram. You also want capacity to be as high as possible, at least 100 grams, and 200 grams is better. Finally, of course, you want the balance to be as inexpensive as possible. To calibrate my pipette, I'll use a Jennings JS200XV balance, which is one of the better inexpensive balances on the market. It has centigram resolution and a 200 gram capacity. Its linearity and repeatability are excellent in the middle of its capacity range and acceptable at the extremes and it's available from Makershed and many other online vendors for about $35. Okay, let's count and weigh some drops. To start, we'll turn on the balance and allow it to boot. And it comes up reading 0, 0.00 grams. We'll then transfer a small beaker to the balance pan and we find that it weighs 42.04 grams. Now, We'll press the zero or tear key, which nets out the balance to read 0.0, .0 grams with the weight of the beaker included. So let's start transferring drops of water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, at ten drops we have a reading of 0 0.37 grams, so we'll continue adding water. Now it's important to maintain consistent drop size, so always keep the pipette at the same angle and try to allow the drop to form fully. 41, 42, 43, 91, 92, 93, 94, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 100. Okay, at 100 we show a mass of 3.62 grams, so we can run our calculations on that number. Okay, with our experimental data in hand, the calculations are pretty straightforward. We know that 100 drops masses 3.62 grams. From the CRC handbook or Wikipedia, we can determine the density of water at 20 degrees C is 0 0.998 grams per milliliter. So, dividing 3.62 grams by the density of water, we determine that our total volume is 3.63 milliliters. Dividing 3.63 milliliters by 100 drops gives us a volume per drop of 0.0363 milliliters per drop. Inverting that, we divide 1 by 0.0363 milliliters per drop to determine that our pipette delivers 27.5 drops per milliliter. So, now you know how to calibrate a disposable pipette. You can use a similar procedure to calibrate other glassware. For example, if you have a 100 milliliter volumetric flask, you can determine its actual volume gravimetrically. Place the flask on the balance and tear it. Add water to the index line and determine the mass of the water. Using the current temperature and the density of water at that temperature, calculate the volume of water actually contained in the flask. You may find that the actual volume is, say, 100.26 milliliters or 99.87 milliliters rather than 100 milliliters. When you make up a solution in that flask, use the actual volume rather than the nominal volume to determine the concentration of solution more accurately. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.